Seven Reasons Why Gene Editing is Dangerous and Unpredictable Major biotech companies want to release new gene-edited GMOs into our food supply and environment without regulations, oversight, or labeling. They are pressuring governments around the world to eliminate all safety testing requirements for plants, animals, and microbes created by new genetic engineering techniques, such as CRISPR. They claim that gene editing is precise, predictable, safe, and natural. This is false. There are at least seven reasons why gene editing is dangerous and unpredictable. One, cutting the wrong place. The popular method of gene editing called CRISPR introduces at least two elements into the cell, a genetic scissors that cuts the DNA, and a guide which tells the scissors where to cut by finding a specific target sequence in the genome. But the genome often has many other places with similar sequences. Consequently, the scissors often cuts unintended or so-called off-target areas. Two, sloppy repair. Wherever the scissors cut, the cell's own repair mechanisms get activated to repair and rejoin the ends of the DNA strands. Scientists have no control over the repair process, which can inadvertently remove or insert short or long sections of DNA and even rearrange chromosomes. In some cases, chromosomes in dividing cells are shattered with pieces rejoined in a haphazard order, called chromothripsis. It's a phenomenon associated with cancer. Three, mixing genes. When the cells reconnect the genome, contaminating pieces of DNA floating in the Petri dish can be added. For example, random genetic material from goats and cows, including retroviruses, were permanently inserted into the genome of gene-edited mice. Gene-edited cows ended up with genes from bacteria. Four, mutant proteins. Genes carry information that can instruct the cell to produce proteins. Gene editing can direct scissors to cut and disable a gene so it stops producing proteins. This procedure was used to create genetically modified mushrooms engineered to not turn brown when sliced. U.S. regulators did not require any assessments or labeling of the mushrooms because they believed gene editing was reliable and safe. Years later, however, research showed that gene editing fails to disable genes about one-third of the time. In some cases, the partially disabled genes encode new mutant proteins which could be allergenic or toxic and could alter the organism's biochemistry. 5. Insertion damage Increased allergens or toxins can also result from mutations created when the gene editing scissors are inserted into plant cells. Insertion can be done using a high velocity gene gun or through specialized bacteria that infect the cells. In some cases, scientists insert genes that then instruct the cell to build the gene editing tools. All of these can cause unpredictable and potentially dangerous mutations. 6. Mutations from the process Gene editing is conducted on plant cells grown in laboratories. Once gene editing is completed, scientists generate many distinct copies of the genetically modified organism through cloning. Both the process of growing plant cells and cloning are known to create massive damage to genomes, resulting in hundreds or thousands of mutations. 7. Epigenetic Inheritance Protein production in gene-edited mice was inadvertently altered. These unpredictable epigenetic changes were passed on to at least 10 generations. An article in Nature entitled CRISPR Gene Editing in Human Embryos Wreaks Chromosomal Mayhem describes three separate studies which showed that Editing affected large regions of the chromosome. There were DNA rearrangements and large deletions of several thousand DNA letters, and large segments of the chromosome 
and sometimes the entire chromosome were lost. Nature reported that many of the findings can be missed by standard assessment methods, and that the results heighten safety concerns about heritable genome editing. The evidence so far is that gene editing does even more damage to genomes and is even more unpredictable than standard genetic engineering. Unintended mutations in gene-edited plants can alter patterns of gene function and consequently their biochemistry. This in turn could result in increased production of toxins and allergens. This, more than anything else, is why gene-edited plant products must be regulated and labeled. When gene-edited GMOs are released, unpredictable changes in nature's gene pool can be passed on to all future generations. Gene editing is now so inexpensive and accessible, humanity can irreversibly alter the DNA of countless species. This new technology requires greater responsibility and care. Let's safeguard the nature of nature.